These are vinyl LPs. <laughs> they are pieces of plastic that make music. This is a. We like to. We're like obsessed with records, so. We pulled out a couple fun ones to talk about, I think. As far as just maybe. Some of them aren't even really like that, like. Expensive or crazy. A lot of them are just like ninety-nine cent record bin stuff, but mm -hmm. it really doesn't matter where you where you get it. I mean, you can find a sample on anything. You could find a sample on like a you know, Barry Manilow, like some Christian record. You know. Yeah. Um, this is like we love library records, so these Tanner records are pretty sick. And like, I mean, first of all, that cover is really dope because of how corporate it is. It's not like. <laughs> trying to, st you know. Or anything, like, these are some other library records, I mean, stuff that looks like that, you know, we'll just automatically, of course, you gotta cop that, you know. You know that's got something on it, but this is, like, the, the track names on these, like, bank, <laughs> florist, auto dealer, savings and loan, and supermarket. <laughs> Like making like a really hot blazing disco house banger out of supermarket. Yeah, know? that's kind of yeah. what we like to do. The Bruton ones are really good. We have a bunch of these. Yeah, a lot of great stuff. Yeah, on there. amazing. And it's like, basically, I think, public domain at this point, right? Or well, no, a lot of those you a lot of those you still have to um, still have to clear them. Yeah, because of the they're not like free, yeah. but. Um, a lot of times we'll just take like one little piece or we'll micro sample it, you know. We micro sample Or maybe like, stuff. oh, the bass line's kind of cool. And then we, is it to inspire a track? Yeah, basically. A lot of times. This this is a, uh, I was really happy that I found this again because I used to have this record back in the day and lost it because, you know, I'm uh, very unorganized. But I found it again for two ninety nine, And anything that has to do with Los Angeles, because I'm from L.A., I buy it. Like, I don't care what it is, if it's like, yo, L.A., whatever. So, but look at this, it's crazy. The L.A. soundtrack, and it's a radio station. And it's got, like, just crazy it's got some stuff. stuff on there, right? It's like, you know, comedy and, like, weird. But there's, like, a really funky, heavy track yeah. on this. For me, it's, like, anything that looks like that, that's, like, a no-brainer. I'm going to get that right away. Yeah, yeah. future. Some that's... bad, some bad airbrush. A lot of it is, is with the artwork, you know? And then you look on the back and kind of see like, okay, Andy Clark, you know, he knows what's up. And like, they say what instruments do they use? That's pretty, pretty crucial too. If you see like banjo or something, you might want to like put that back on yeah. the rack. But but the titles, you know what I mean? Yeah. Motivation. Motivation. Robotics. Robotics. Done. You know what Front I mean? runner, you know. And then it has these descriptions uh, that are pretty funny too of each track. Funky rhythmic underscore. Urgent up tempo, you know light industrial theme. They're so. just telling you what's up. They're yeah. telling you what time it is. Yeah. Something like really this. Good. That's a KPM. Yeah. KPM is a lot of stuff. Too. There's something uh, fantastic about um, being able to judge a book by its cover. You can completely do that when you buy vinyl. This cover is wild. You know what <laughs> I mean? I mean, it's, it's, it's exquisite. <laughs> it's really... Like anything to look like that's yeah. just I don't know anything I just, grandiose and like yeah a lot of gold and silver and airbrush and then the band and, and then, then just take a look at them dun 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 yeah they know what time it is you know what I mean handlebar look at the haircuts handlebar mustaches which we actually found out wasn't actually called a handlebar mustache it's called a, the horseshoe mustache yeah, it's called a horseshoe so y'all so, hipsters are wrong out there yeah handlebar is the little curler you know all right John Trope. Um, unbelievable guitarist. It's on Marlin Records. It's not a rare record, but look at it. It's crazy. It's a fish tank, and it's dope. You know, that one's pretty. Uh, this okay. is something. Yeah, these two are really actually. Uh, this one I just got. We're, we're actually sampling some of this stuff right now because it's a lot of spoken word and lectures and stuff on the occult. And, and that one's got a crystal skull as well, so there's a bit of a theme developing Yeah, you've got there. skulls, you've got um, gems, you've got waves, and you've got people talking about, you know, ESP, Satanism, and psychic phenomena. <laughs> What's it all about? 
<laughs> this is basically telling you what it's about, yeah. but this is unreal. This is uh, Walt Disney's The Sounds of Outer Space. Um, there are these like really, you know, there there's just an abundance of like uh, sound packs that you can get that have, um, you know, it's all like the up up sweeps and the like, you know, effects for your track. We're kind of getting a little bit more into uh, finding them or making them ourselves and then making like custom made all of our like effects folders and yeah. stuff. So like stuff like this is really good for that because mm -hmm. it's basically just like a dude like on a ARP. Yeah, we synth, you know. we use we started using a uh, mixed and key, uh, which is like a DJ software. Um, so you take a record like that and record it in, and then just throw it in mixed and key, and then on oh, my tracks in D minor, that's in D minor. Throw it in the track, maybe like take a couple little sounds out of it, add some delay, you know. Yeah, mixed and key is really. Yeah, very cool. Really um, ace. Yeah, let's talk about this. Um, <laughs> You disco, Just that cover, you know. You disco heads know about this record. Yeah. Um, I didn't when I got this record. I didn't know. I actually hadn't gotten into like sampling disco and all that stuff. I was still very into hip hop, so I kind of slept on it. Uh, I mean, I didn't sleep on the, the cover because <laughs> I was in my mind. You know, you you see the cover and you're like, oh, it's gonna be like some like big band jazz record or like some like dueling piano thing. And then you put it on, and it's like blazing, just blazing, yeah. just <laughs> cosmic disco. Yeah, but it's not. I think, I think, it's obviously not them. I think Lust was probably the song that got the most burn from them. Yes, but this record's got a lot of gems on it. But the, yeah. yeah, the cover is hilarious. Yeah, and they produced a lot of other records during the time too. So anything they've, if I see their name on it, yeah. Other than that, I mean, if you're into music, then you should probably know about this one. You know, Prince is probably, I think, number one on my list. Yeah. James Brown, Prince, Stevie Wonder, Daft Punk. I mean, you know how you that's know how those are the tops. You know. Yeah. All right. This uh, this record is the soundtrack to The Naked Ape, which I've never seen. classic movie. Everyone's <laughs> seen that. No need yeah. to explain. Classic movie. <laughs> Um, very highly regarded. No, but it's, this is dope. This has, um, some DJ Premier samples on it. But, like, the instrumentation is really kind of interesting. It, it, you know, it's, it's that cinematic thing with, like, really funky, like, heavy, low-end, you know, bass and stuff. It's dope. Naked Ape. Check it out on YouTube. Um, what else? We got some other heat. Oh, this is dope. Um... A Child's Garden of Grass, a pre-legalization comedy. Um, at one point in my music-making career, this was very important. <laughs> it is no longer, but I think the essence is still there. And this record is really fantastic. It's cool. I know that like artifacts use it for a sample. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Yeah, but like it's dope. The covers, you know, it's just like got weed all over it, and they talk about weed the whole time, you know, it's from the 60s, so, all right, 10CC, incredible band, every record they've ever put out is really yeah. fresh, this one has some really dope stuff on it, 10CC, and you know what, the, uh, like, that'll be something we'll put on and just get inspired by, we might not sample it, but, like, yeah. as far as, like, production things, like, mm -hmm. um, you know, like, on, on that track, I'm Not In Love, you know, they have that really beautiful, like, vocal pad, if you've seen the like making of that mm -hmm. record and stuff, and it's they incredible. talk about it, so yeah. we like we try to like steal things like that from people. Yeah, we're really into um, kind of like early '80s soft rock, um, yes. Toto type stuff, you know. Yeah, which which is which is great because you know those aren't records that are worth any money, so we just clean up on that kind of stuff. I mean, yeah. that's that looks pretty yachty. I don't know about this record. This but. record is is phenomenal. Um, <laughs> And believe me, smooth rock, yeah. It's smooth rock, but like you're gonna find. I think there's Joe Walsh is involved in this mm. somehow. But um, guitar, a lot of really dope guitar stuff and great samples. But yeah, just to get an essence of like the California cool, like <laughs> just feel feel his his 
energy in his yeah. mullet. It's just fantastic. So, good record. Yeah. yeah I guess I that's, that's enough, good. right? Yeah, that's enough.